question number 156 select the odd one with respect to aromatic amino acids and the options are tyrosine valine tryptophan phenylalanine and as option number one three and four are aromatic amino acids so these cannot be a correct answer and the correct answer is option number two valine valine is a neutral amino acid So, the correct answer to this question is option number 2. Let's proceed to the next question. Question number 157. Study the given compound and select the correct option. The given compound is a dicyclic heteronitrogenous base called adenine. Adenine is a purine and it is a component of both RNA as well as DNA. When found attached with sugar, it forms adenosine. It's a nucleoside. And if a phosphate group is also found, esterified to sugar, it forms adenylic acid. And it's a nucleotide then. Now, the options given are, it is a component of RNA only. So, this is an incorrect statement. It is a component of both RNA and DNA. So, this is a correct answer to our question. It is a nucleoside. No, it is just a nitrogenous base. It is a nucleotide. No, this is an incorrect statement. So, the correct answer to this question is option number two. Let's move on to the next question. Question number 158. Total number of carbon atoms present in arachidonic acid and palmitic acid respectively are. And the options are 16 and 20, 18 and 20, 20 and 16, 22 and 16. Arachidonic acid, as total 20 carbon, whereas palmitic acid, as total 16 carbon. So, the correct answer to this question is 20 and 16, option number 3. Option 1 is incorrect, option number 2 and 4 are incorrect. Stearic acid has 18 carbon atoms. So, the correct answer is option number 3. Let's proceed to the next question. Question number 159. Trihydroxypropane is predominantly a component of and the options given are lipids, nucleic acids, proteins, carbohydrates and the correct answer to this question is option number one, lipids. Trihydroxypropane is glycerol. Glycerol is a simple lipid. Many lipids have both glycerol and fatty acids, where fatty acids are esterified with glycerol. They can be monoglycerides, diglycerides and triglycerides. Option number 3, 2 and 4 are incorrect options. So, the correct answer is option number 1. Let's move on to the next question, which is question number 160. How many of the given statements are true for both purines and pyrimidines? The very first option is heterocyclic aromatic compounds and this is true for both purines and pyramidines. Next statement is dicyclic with one pentose and one hexose ring and as this statement is not applicable for both purines and pyramidines, so this is incorrect because pyrimidines like cytosine, uracil and thymine, they are heterocyclic but not dicyclic whereas purines are heterocyclic and dicyclic and include adenine and guanine. The next statement is they can be synthesized in hepatocytes and erythrocytes and this is incorrect because neurons and RBCs do not divide, erythrocytes cannot synthesize purines and pyrimidines. The last statement is they are present in genetic material of an organism and can form energy rich compounds is a correct statement. So, how many are true for both purines and pyrimidines? Two statements. So, the correct answer is option number two. Option number one, three. Option number three, four. Option number four, one are incorrect options and the correct answer is option number two. Let's move on to the next question. Mm -hmm. 